mainly the most of the European cities had been designed uh, for cars. Uh, the, the focus should lie in the future to uh, plan infrastructures to move people and not to move cars, for example. If we just manage speed, that's the most important part, half of those people killed, 20,000 people, would survive. The question is, why don't we do it? Uh, walking, cycling, public transport should be the basis of our urban mobility policies. If we, n if we have to choose one measure that we can implement now, it's a reduction of speed. The thing is that we have the knowledge and we do have the means to eliminate traffic deaths and serious injuries in our streets. And still we are not changing the numbers as fast as we would like to see. So we have been uh, promoting our 10 principles, our new paradigm to many cities and several have already signed up as well as international organizations as well, uh, such as Fever. Um, so what is a five star city? Uh, is it, it's, a, it's a policy and a partner approach to promote a safe uh, five star streets for both pedestrians and, and bicycles. Uh, we were here because safety is uh, a core focus area for us and, and, and really a key priority for us. Because obviously we cannot do these things alone and we shouldn't do these things alone. Um, we are very proud of our collaboration with MAD, um, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. I, you know, we have a, in fact, a, a very important week which we started uh, yesterday. And uh, I will say it's a unique opportunity, unique opportunity to put uh, people who have a passion to create a better world on better roads. And uh, I want to commend all the action from FIVR, Fédération Européenne des Victimes de la Route. But the specific steps to make our cities safer, we know what needs to be done. And we can do it. And, men, and many of our cities are pledged to do it. Many of our cities are introducing those measures as we speak. What I would like to recognize in this moment is that Vision Zero is just as applicable on my continent as it is here in Europe. Too many But what do you think about this radical agenda? Let me start with Jean. Is it achievable? Is it realizable? Or is it a pipe dream to go for zero in cities across the world by 2030? So if you take uh, Europe, Europe, you can achieve. And I mean, we have been achieving. But I mean, it, we must never give anything for granted. No. You know, it has to be, when you wake up in the morning, you must think about it. Just would like to say, that I think, I love the ambition of this vision. I love the radicalness of, of what's being called for. But I think that it also means that we have to radically change our approach if we're going to meet this ambition. I mean, I think what Jean has said is that if we want to achieve this type of vision, continuing the way we have is not going to, to, to lead us there. But Jean, we need your help to um, address this, this, this gap that we see with the level of the, the demand for safety. Now, the lobbying tactic of the car industry that is um, not help, helping us, uh, like we managed thanks to the European Commission and um, the hard um, ambition level of the European Parliament and the member states to have this vehicle safety standard revised in the EU with intelligent speed assistance, direct vision being mandatory in the years to come. With strong but support from Jean, I would add, all the yeah. way. And um, I must say with poor results. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, the only little achievement we had was uh, to sign uh, an undertaking uh, from uh, OICA. Mm -hmm. And I mean, incidentally, it's frustrating because uh, here you have, mm -hmm. m we have all the planet interested in road safety, which is represented this week, and almost no manufacturers. Maybe you know? I just ask, there's a question here, but I just on this point, do you feel as a, as a community that we in road safety have been just a bit too polite? I mean, fight? maybe uh, not united enough. Yeah. You know, a lot, uh, a lot of um, engagement has been done individually, but if we want to be stronger, we might be one voice. Here, I'm going to get the same answer, Grazia, but mm -hmm. do you think we've been too polite? Yes, definitely. And I was yesterday at a global NCAP event uh, where no manufacturers were there. And they yes. sent a letter to OICA. How are we doing for time? Perfect for M. <laughs> <laughs> we out of it. <laughs> that, let that be the motive of the week. Perfect for M. We all agree that the objective is that 
there are no road victims in urban areas in 2030. We all agree it's necessary to slow down and I would like to add that it's necessary in mobility but also in life. Stress and impatience are not good alias of road safety. And let me say that uh, as we assume that many people will die next decade and there is no provision for this, we must do everything to reach zero victims. Thank you to all again, oh, and now it's time for the Vision Zero song. <laughs> Thank you. No victims raise their voice. We have no other choice. See only go to go. Is it cities, Vision Zero? You all should raise your voice. You have no other choice. See only time to go. And now all together all. One, two, three, we should take